Welcome to the Honkai Star Rail Patch 2.5 Banner, Quick and Easy, Pull Value Analysis. For each character, I will provide you with a list of questions you can ask yourself to determine if the character is worth getting. Then, I will end with a verdict based on my personal decision. For full transparency, I am currently using these two teams to clear the endgame content. Dio Charon and the Firefly Break Team. Faceyao. Do you want a Wind Element DPS unit that can break any weakness type with her ultimate? Faceyao generates more ultimate charge, depending on the frequency of your team's attacks. Do you currently have, or are you willing to invest in, a strong follow-up team composition? Aventurin, Robin, Topaz, etc. For my personal decision, since I am currently able to brute force endgame content with my current teams, and I do not have a solid follow-up core as they require heavy investment, I will skip Faceyao. Kafka. Able to re-trigger dots, damage over time, effects, and front load some damage. Essential for DOT playstyle and will be hard to power creep. Can also be a good sub DPS for the Triple Nihility Mommy team, Kafka, Black Swan, Acheron. Do you currently have, or are you willing to invest in, a strong damage over time team composition? For my personal decision, Kafka's Idolan 1 and Idolan 2 would be nice to have for vertical investment. However, they feel more like luxury upgrades compared to Black Swan and Acheron's Idolans, so I will build pity on Kafka's banner since I like the 4 stars. Moe's is a new character, Luca is a physical DOT unit, and I'm not building Asta until I get her E6 since she feels clunky to use. Black Swan Kafka's strongest DOT partner in the current state of the game. Do you have Kafka? can provide 20% defense shred as a sub-DPS for non-DOT teams. Do you currently have, or are you willing to invest in, a strong damage over time team composition? For my personal decision, I will be pulling for Black Swan's Idolan 1, as it is an amazing upgrade for vertical investment. Enemies afflicted with wind shear or shock will have their wind and lightning resistance reduced by 25%. This will be a great benefit to all three DPS units on my Dacheron team. Robin. All-around strong harmony support for multiple playstyles. Ultimate allows all other allies to immediately take action. May have energy problems, depending on the frequency of your team's attacks. Do you currently have, or are you willing to invest in, a strong follow-up team composition? For my personal decision, although I would like to have Robin on my account, I do not think it will feasible considering the amount of stellar jade it will take. Also, I can clear endgame content comfortably with my two teams, and I have not yet invested into a follow-up team. I might consider pulling in the future if they introduce content that requires three teams. Topaz. Do you currently have, or are you willing to invest in, a strong follow-up team composition? For my personal decision, I will be skipping Topaz. Well, that was easy. Lingsha. Do you own two limited 5-star preservation or abundance sustain characters? Do you currently have, or are you willing to invest in, a strong break effect team composition? Lingsha vs Gallagher, do you have E6 Gallagher? Do you want to save jades or have more comfortable sustain? Good sustain to use in pure fiction as she can keep your team alive and provide some AoE damage on the side. For my personal decision, I will definitely be pulling Lingsha. Although she doesn't feel to be a major improvement over an E6 Gallagher, AoE cleanse and team heals will prove to be invaluable for future content. Plus, my Firefly team struggles in pure fiction, so Lingsha will definitely help in getting higher scores. Finally, and most importantly, she is hot. Who are you pulling for in the upcoming 2.5 Honkai Star Rail Banners? Leave a comment below and share your opinions with us. Make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and have a lovely day.